Extreme Cloud IQ is designed for continuous innovation, and as a result, frequent features and updates are offered for users across a broad spectrum of needs. Extreme Cloud IQ has no shortage of diagnostic tools available straight from the cloud, like VLAN probe, client monitor, bounce port capabilities, and more. These tools more than cover the troubleshooting task most admins would need or want. And while one of the many perks of the cloud is simplicity, today I'm talking to the power users. And for their use cases, Extreme Cloud IQ enables CLI troubleshooting straight from the cloud. This is done via an SSH tunnel to securely connect to the managed devices for APs and switches, proxied through Extreme Cloud IQ. While the diagnostic tools available in the cloud are rich, the CLI interface provides more advanced troubleshooting capabilities. Supplemental CLI is also available for configuration, and those details are covered in another video. Okay, so how do you access this feature? SSH proxy is actually off by default, so you'll have to go first to the global settings and turn on SSH. But to use it for a device, it still has to be turned on per device level. So there are a couple ways that you can do that. Let's start with a topology view. So as a refresher, we covered the new topology view in the February features and updates video of XIQ. So go ahead and check that out for those details. You'll navigate to ML Insights at the top, click on Network 360 Monitor, you'll click on the floor, and then you'll see the topology view. So say you want to SSH proxy into this AP here. You would just right click on the device, and when you right click on it, you'll see the option to SSH tunnel. Once you click on that, you'll have the option to enable SSH and the length of time that you want that to run. So for the sake of demonstration, I'll go ahead and select 5 minutes and click Enable SSH. So as soon as I do that, Extreme Cloud IQ is sending a command down to the CAPWAP protocol down to the AP, which tells the AP to enable the session outbound. And then Extreme Cloud IQ acts as a proxy and creates an IP address and a dynamic port to use in the session. From there, you select your terminal of choice and you paste in the information. Now my laptop is creating an SSH session to the cloud, and the cloud proxies it back down to the AP. Now I can start running troubleshooting commands like show run or show CAPWAP clients or see the management interfaces of the APs. And though it may be tempting to execute configuration commands while in the terminal, I would refrain. SSH proxy should only be used for troubleshooting commands. Any local device configuration changes that are done here are not going to be saved in the Extreme Cloud IQ database. However, the supplemental CLI gives you the ability to configure an AP from the cloud. You can also start an SSH proxy session by navigating to Devices, Device 360 view, and clicking on the Configure tab, and then SSH proxy. And finally, to end the session, just click Disable, and that's it. Thank you for watching, and make sure to check out the new videos available this month to learn more about the many features in Extreme Cloud IQ.